There's a lot of things about living in the Philippines, and one of them is noise. You're just going to have to get used to it. Chickens, karaoke, uh, speakers, whatever it is, this is normal for everyone else. You're going to adapt, you're going to get used to it, so just deal with it. Don't whinge about it. You will eventually, it'll just be background noise like it is for everyone else. What you also have to remember is canned goods, fantastic. A great way to keep down your budget, and if you're smart and you know how to cook, uh, you can make something like this, which is like 55 pesos worth of canned goods, into two or three cheap meals, and they're going to be healthy. A really good tip is to, uh, if you are friends or some expats, they're going to be here for two years. Some of them, I, I, don't, I think three years is like, three years is pretty good going before they give up on the Philippine dream and getting some uh, of their cheap pots and pans if you need to set out is actually a great way to go on. Uh, fire sales are a thing here. You can actually pick up bargains of condos and houses on a fire sale. So keep an eye out for that. Get a better pourer than I've got. This takes forever. It's a horrible design but I bought it and until it's broken, even though it technically is broken, I ain't replacing it. Gas is good. Gas is cheap. Gas is cheaper than electricity. Gas doesn't suffer brownouts. Gas is your friend. Fresh fruit and vegetables are important. If you see tomatoes like this in the Philippines, you buy them, they're rare. Also allows you to cook amazing food. Use one utensil. I only just cut down on washing up because I'm lazy. I buy minced garlic. It's cheaper than actual real garlic. Garlic is expensive here. This is cheap. Get this. A lot of foreigners forget their guests here. When you, you know, when you come here, you're representing your country. Abide by the laws. That includes any dodgy crap. There is no grey areas here. So someone will tell you that you can set up a dummy corporation and own your own business. You can for a little while until you get found out. Those guys that claim that, you watch them over a couple of years, sometimes five, sometimes three, sometimes ten. They lose everything. No grey areas. Just like prep is essential for cooking, preparation is essential for coming here. Know what your visas are. Have an exit plan. Don't come here because of a girl. There's an amazing culture. Amazing people here. You're missing out if you don't actually take advantage of that. Uh, most of my friends are Filipino. Uh, it's just worked out that way. If you come here for a girl and you think she's amazing, that's the one, have a think about how many other people are amazing here. Because there is. The Filipinos are amazing. I'm not just saying that for clicks and likes. You're going to meet some amazing people here. If you're not actually hanging out with other Filip uh, with Filipinos and you're just hanging out with expats, trust me, you're doing it all wrong. You really want to take advantage of the fact that Filipinos, just like a Filipino wife, can be really loyal, so it can Filipino friends. I actually don't really hang out with that many expats these days. Most of my friends are Filipino. I guess that's because I live here and most expats are transient, which means they end up leaving after a period of time. If you really want anything in this country, you make friends with Filipinos because they know people. They know how to get things, not illegal things. They just know stuff that you would never have found out, never know. You wouldn't have some of the results they tell you. Yeah. Make friends with Filipino people. You're mad if you don't. They're awesome. Try not to come here broke. Have some income coming from some other source. Don't blow all your cash. Live within your means. If you can't afford a 20000 15,000, 25,000 apartment, don't get one. Live within your means. It's really simple. You're going to have a better time doing it. You're going to have more money for other things. You can travel. You can see this country. Do that. It's a really good idea. These are uh, century quality bungles. Uh, the Tiaz, was it? Uh, Talsi. And I think the other one's Spanish style. They're good value. They're like 54 pesos a can. You'll feed two people, sometimes three people out of this. Uh, the Spanish style is great with rice and egg. This is fantastic for pasta. It's a little tip, this will feed you three times. Now, olives are expensive. Piss off, I like olives. So they go on in your pasta. If you do come to this country, don't be a bar fly. <clears throat> really don't. Filipinos don't like it. You won't like it. You won't like the people that do it. Uh, there is no longevity to that. 
they're going to die soon, they're going to lose all their money, and they're a miserable bunch of bastards. In saying everything I just said about expats, if you find yourself that you want to hang out with expats, and you probably will because at the end of the day you want to hang out with someone that actually has, understands what your life is about and the problems that you're going to face, try not to hang out with the miserable ones. Try not to hang out with the ones that are just negative all the time. It's going to ruin your life. They're full of drama. It's not worth it. There's really awesome people here. Um, expats and Filipinos. Hang out with the ones that you know that you want to hang out with. Don't just hang out with people just for the sake of hanging out with them. Find friends. Do stuff that you like doing. You're going to meet people that like doing the same thing. There's a fair chance they're going to have similar interests to you and there's a good chance you're going to like them. With the... Uh, I think it's Tel C. I don't know. I'm horrible with uh, pronouncing crap here. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm actually learning Tagalog at the moment uh, because I live in Hilago uh, I live in Bacolod region and my Bisaya doesn't work here and I want to learn both Hiligon and then Tagalog but I'm learning Tagalog first just so when I'm traveling around I can uh, it's just easier there's a you know Filipinos do speak English but at the same time I feel it's rude not to speak the local dialect and I know like I just said I don't uh, what I mean is I don't do it very well right, so you just I'm going to tell you stuff and show you how to cook at the same time. That's all I've done with that. It's simple, easy. Keep a little bit of this, put a little bit of water in there. It's flavor, it's free. Here's a handy tip. If you really don't know what you're doing when you're shooting videos, turn the bloody light on so people can see you. It's much better. The pasta's almost done. Here's also a good tip. When you're doing your visas, be nice to the immigration officers. It's not their fault. Certain laws are in place. They're there to tell you what to do and what not to do. They're not going to do anything different to what they're told to do. They're paid employees. They're really lovely people. Don't be an arsehole. Just don't be an arsehole. And plus, here's an added benefit. They cannot renew your visa and get you deported. So there's a bonus to being nice. Alright, so this pasta's almost ready. It's good because I'm hungry and you think, you know, like, it's not like you're starving, mate. But, I'm hungry. Now, even though I'm cooking a nice, simple food, feed, I, um, I like a mixture of Filipino and foreigner food. Just because I'm living in the Philippines doesn't mean I don't forget about my own culture also. Your culture is just as important as their culture. Don't get me wrong, you're living here, so technically their culture is more important. But it doesn't mean you forget who you are, and that means you're also your morals. So, when you get here... Don't leave your morals back in your own country. Do the right thing. Just do the right thing. It's, it's easier to do the right thing. You feel better for it. And you know what I mean, right? Here's a little cooking tip after you've cooked your pasta. Add a little bit of olive oil. It stops it from sticking. Always cook your aromatics first. Like just the rule. There's not many rules cooking. That's one of them. Always add pepper. Recycle. That's 2019. Just do that. Mm. 
never lick your thing. What I'm following my nose. And that's yummy. That's really yummy. If you don't like my opinions, I'm sorry. I'm, I just, I've been here for a while. Your knowledge may vary. I think this is a wonderful country and I thank the Filipinos every day for allowing me in it. Uh, I've been blessed with an amazing life, an amazing time here. And uh, okay, that is a meal for, that's a, that's a gourmet meal for about 60 pesos. At some point in time while I'm talking, there's gonna be like a thing that comes up that says like su subscribe and then there's gonna be another thing that says, do you wanna watch another video? I'm not gonna tell you what to do. It's up to you if you enjoyed anything I've done for you. Uh, or any of the videos I do, uh, give us a yell. I've got an email there somewhere. I hope I've given you some advice on this little awesome snack idea. Um, you appreciate it. I'll actually cook a little bit more too. I like cooking. Cooking's like the thing I do to make me feel good. Uh, I'm that Aussie expat. Thank you very much for watching.